Today I'm here to teach you a very important technique, the art of finger painting. Let's get started. Add orange and green and purple. First I'm going to take my paints and I'm going to squirt each color onto a paper plate. It's not working. Oh. I had to open this first. There we go. First step, open your paint. There we go. That looks so yummy. Looks like strained peas. Okay. Orange. Oh, I gotta open this one too. Yeah. Oh, and put the lid back on. Gosh, this is more of a challenge than I thought. Now we have all our paints, so it's time to take a finger and dip it in, and then get a piece of paper and start painting. Ooh, I'm gonna make a star. Oh. glides across the page. My first masterpiece of the day. If you're feeling up to it, you can use more colors and more fingers and just... And... Ooh, beautiful. So here I have a star with some polka dots in the background. It is perfect. Now that you have paint all over your hands, I don't know how to move this. Um, I got it, okay. Now, a new piece of paper. This is the hand painting method, so you just go like that. Lovely. Now for this one, we're going to ignore that separate colors exist and we're going to create the best color of all by just mixing them all together. So this is going to feel like lotion and it's going to be really, really, really nice on your hands. It's going to be the best color ever that you've ever seen and it's like crushing exotic berries on your hands. Now we want to make the whole page pretty much, oh look, it looks brown on the paper. So that's even better. If you have it on the back of your hand, just kind of flip it over and wipe it off. It's just pretty nice and you can kind of go back in and give a little tiny burst of color. Just very subtle pops. If your hands don't look like this, you're probably doing it wrong. For this one, we're going to visit realism a slight bit more. So I'm gonna draw a tree trunk and it can be just however you want it to be. Just round it off. Color it in. And then we're just gonna kind of branch it off at the top. Make it look really cool. Now it's time to add leaves. So we're just gonna. some grass at the bottom. Put some more leaves at the top. We're going to look intimidating. Now it's time to tackle the most challenging piece!
me. Ta-da! A super craft secret revealed. That is all. I hope you guys found this tutorial to be super helpful. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And pretty please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy my videos, I put out craft tutorials all the time. I'll see you on Friday for Crafty Friday. I also love to post pictures on Instagram, so please check out my account on there and all of my links in the description box below. I am just going to finish off all this paint on my little scrap here. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you soon. Bye. Meow. This is so pretty. I'm going to write my name in it. S A R A H. I'm going to cut that out and frame it forever.